Oh no. Oh no. Dump his body. Hurry. Hurry. We good? Don't look suspicious. Just walk normal. What's up? My name's Helmut Kruger. I'm a international fashion model. We could have put him in there instead of dumping him in the water, but... <laughs> it worked. It freaking worked. Let's go, boys. Alright. So now we're Helmut. We should be able to get pretty much anywhere we want, right? Security guard there. Why is there an explosive tank? Loosen valve. We need a wrench. Oh, we still have these dumb scissors. We have to get rid of these things. Uh, I don't want people to see me get rid of them, though. Mr. Kruger, a pleasure. What's this? Release winch? What are we supposed to do with a winch? That guy certainly has changed his tune. Last time he was saying I was a bad word. What is this? A military helmet? I don't really care about that. Alright, I'm gonna find a waste basket to throw these things in. Bunch out here. Uh, Alright, we're good. What's up, ladies? Can I go? Are people gonna be suspicious of me? I kinda wanna go. Shape back here. Wait, it said walk in the catwalk? <laughs> what the fuck? What's happening? Why is there snow? Alright. Cut it a little bit short. This, it's a weird style. These girls are all like pasty white. Well, it's confirmed, sir. The FSB charges against you have all been dropped. No one is mentioning Kamarov's unfortunate death or his alleged ties to the CIA, of course. Good. Good. That's the end of that, then. I knew our nameless friend would come through. Very good. No, I still don't like it. This Nameless this friend? I mean, who is this guy? What kind of man enters a heavily guarded government building, kills an FSB section chief, and sets him up as a U.S. spy without even breaking sweat? Where'd you find this guy, anyway? Sounds like something we would do. He found me. He knew the FSB were investigating my past. And he knew all about Yago, using models as Trojan horses, everything. Let's just say you let him do most of the talking. Still, the whole dossier. Some price for a day's work. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, he hired an assassin. You and Dahlia actually agree on something. And gave him a whole dossier. Uh, I don't know what Back it's on, time. but... Dude, how are we supposed to kill this guy? Kitchen knife. That's not gonna work. Oh wow, Mr. Kruger! I got lots of fangirls, baby. All right, so I don't think now is the time to get him. I'm seeing lots of drink opportunities. We don't have any poison though. We need to find some poison. We could also try that lethal, whatever it's called. Okay. Blend in is a. I don't think uh, we need help blending in. We're pretty good on that front. Here's the fashion show. This is the kind of like first area we came through. Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Kruger. 
Mm. I want to try going upstairs. You guys remember when we went upstairs? Ooh, what's over here? Break display case. Do we have poison? Can we poison a drink? I don't know. It just said we could poison those cookies. Whatever, you say, Whatever the heck they were. Let's try going upstairs. Mr. Kruger looking sharp. Really don't like that asshole. Release winch. What will we do with the winch? A knife. There's, there's so many winches on the walls. I just don't know what's going on. Mr. Kruger? Wasn't she supposed to be upstairs? Oh yeah, she's up on the next level. Oh, that Miss Margolis. What's her story? You know, actually, I read this um, this book about the fashion industry through the ages. There was this whole chapter. I don't know, I mean, as, as I recall, Margolis' dad was some overzealous Israeli army general who, you know, he Looking did not awesome, Mr. Kruger. Daughter's chasing... It's a laptop here. She can give us some information. Are we gonna get in trouble looking at this? We talk to her? That's okay. Um, so there's a security guard out there. Do we even investigate invest the, the, the investigate the laptop? I don't think we did. There's a security guard right out there. We can get information from her, I'm not sure how though. Oh, she's talking on the phone. I know you had to set it up fast, but you can't just toss equipment around like it's well, it's Miss Margolis' private laptop. The whole auction is running from that thing. What if something had happened to it? You don't have to be sarcastic about it. You know what would have happened, right? She would have shot the messenger. That means me. Fine. Just... just don't do it again. <sighs> Stupid jerk. This could be useful. What is this? Can we dress up as the her? The auction employs an interactive bidding system controlled from Margolis' laptop. If you can get to it, you should be able to shut down the auction temporarily. This could be an opportunity to catch Margolis away from the spotlight. Okay. That seems like a pretty good uh, opportunity. Mr. Kruger? So find the laptop dongle. Looks like we have to go this way. We haven't even found the auction yet. Hold on. I just I want to see what's going on. Let's go. Let's go see what's going on. You're in. Good work. Oh wow. So this is the auction of secrets. Take your time, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, look at this oh, spread on this table. Holy cow, dude. I would go Find so me. ham. Who all's here? Yes, madam. We're bidding? Yes, sir. Interesting. All right. So it looks like she's out here. You smell good, Mr. Kruger. The bidding is <laughs> Thanks. Next on the list is a real treat. That is Dahlia Margolis, supermodel turned spy master. I'm supposed to be friends with her, right? The most powerful woman in the Delgado drug cartel. Oh, if I had a dollar for every Prince Poe, how is your father? He is the sun and the moon, Miss Marcus. Hey, he does not please complain. follow me on Instagram, okay? Mm. <laughs> There's an item coming up. You might find it interesting. A certain list. Courtesy of MI6. I see. Thank you for the information. I've been meaning to ask you, how do you do it? All this, all these secrets. What is your trick? <laughs> oh, you know how it is with magic tricks, Prince Poe. 
The answer is always a letdown. But if you don't tell us your secret, how can we know you're not doing the same thing to us? You don't. You'll just have to ask yourself whether the benefits I provide outweigh the damage I might inflict. Dude, she's a badass! And that's hilarious. This dude's chilling here with his girl in the purple. It's Mr. Steel, yo girl! Yes, go ahead. Final bid. That's so funny. Alright, let's um... Let's move on. Let's go find this thing. We're supposed to find. Can we get a move through here? Why are there guns here? Fire alarm. Uh, excuse me. What are you doing? Stop! And I'm not. Holy cow! He's not coming after us. Ooh, she's talking to somebody again. Someone with impossible skills. The price? A copy of the Iago dossier. Everything we have ever collected. Oh wow, no that's what he paid him. Asked. And did Victor bother to tell me about it? No, he did not. The client's in there. Are you saying they're bidding on used goods? Victor is certain this mystery man was looking for something very specific. He won't be bribing people left and right. Still, it's the principle. Dolly. Victor is a loose cannon. And I hate to say it, but maybe... Maybe he needs to be put down. You're kind of mixing metaphors, but... The thought has crossed my mind. Oh, Dolly. wow! Camille is in position at the fashion show. So, who's the mark? Julian Wakefield, the actor. Camille is just his type. She's got that Ada Lockheed look. Hmm, Wakefield's old girlfriend. Clever. And how will you guide Wakefield into her path? Wakefield only drinks a particular brand of smoked whiskey. I made sure that all the bars are out, except for the one that Camille happens to be standing at. I sincerely hope I never get on your bad side, Dahlia. So... Wakefield is a member of that Church of Ascendance, isn't he? Is that who we're targeting? Those crypto-spiritualists? The Church of Ascendance is wealthy, powerful, and secretive to a fault. I have clients who would pay a lot of money to know what's going on inside that temple. So Wakefield's fame will push him right into their inner circle. And if everything goes according to plan, Camille, right there with Good plan. Keep you updated. That kind of like top thing looks like it could be an opportunity. Maybe drop something on somebody? I don't know. I remember we had an Assassin's Creed mission that was kind of like that. Alright, so we aren't supposed to be in here. Maybe if we trigger the fire alarm, everybody's going to rush out and then we can... Oh god. In. What set that off? They aren't even moving. And targets are in lockdown? Clear. Nobody thinks it's me. Hey, hold up! Hold, you are not oh shoot, to they do. Right there. Dang it, well, that was not the... I was thinking maybe if there's a fire, people would want to maybe escape the building or something? I don't know. Alright, so the good thing is this game, it saves like every three minutes or so. So that was a mistake. I'm gonna just kind of reload up right here and uh, we should be good. Oh, I was thinking that was a good idea. Like everybody would be like, oh, if there's a fire, I probably want to get out of this building. Nope. Not the case at all. They're all savages. They knew it was a fake. That was, that was too simple-minded, Trev. We got to think 
higher up than that. 